The road through the Skudik portion of Acadia National Park runs one way along miles of coastline. For visitors, that means there's no avoiding the pickled wrinkle. It's kind of nice that the National Park is a one-way loop and you drive right by here to, to get out. There's nothing to eat or drink in the park, so people come out hungry and thirsty, and this is the obvious stop. <laughs> Ribeye steaks, ocean fresh seafood, and a fun vibe have made Birch Harbor's The Pickled Wrinkle a flat out success. And its curious name? Yeah, we thought of the name oh, a few years before we bought the place. When Montana born Jesse Christensen moved here to his wife Sarah's hometown, he found out pickled wrinkles are a thing. Sarah is lobster fisherman's daughter. She's Always been into pickled wrinkles, which are kind of a, a byproduct of lobster fishing. A wrinkle is the local name for a carnivorous sea snail, which often finds its way into lobster traps. In the poorer days of Maine, they pickled them to preserve them through the winter and kind of little protein packed morsels, and it's become a local delicacy now. How local? Very local. It's very down east, even an hour and a half away in Bangor, people don't know what pickled wrinkles are. At first glance, the offerings might seem a bit more traditional at Joe Young's place. It is, after all, the classic down east tableau. That's a good oyster. A picturesque harbor, traps stacked high, and picnic tables loaded with lobster, crab, and dults. It's a red kelp. I'm wondering if you would like to try some dults. This is a, a red kelp. Joe Young is a bit of an ambassador when it comes to dults. After all, he cultivates the seaweed alongside his oyster beds in the milk barn behind his home in the Skudik village of Korea. Dults, to me, is delicious. But dults isn't the only unusual item served up here. There's history as well. I opened a little gallery here in my fish house, and that was 2009. Actually, the gallery came before the restaurant. Young, a lobsterman, wanted to display the historical photographs of his late aunt, Louise Young. An accomplished photographer, Louise ran with a sophisticated crowd, including famed American painter Marsden Hartley, who lived with the Youngs in Korea for three years. Only one problem with the gallery, no one came. Young's wife suggested adding food. And uh, she was right, actually. So we started in 2010. We had a hot dog cart, two tables. Then gradually, word of mouth went out. Now we seat about 100 people. After 40 years on the water, Young is now grounded, a full-time restaurateur in this remote corner of the Scudic. Oh, and it's given this lifelong lobsterman a chance to try some new foods. I never ate lobster until 2010, when we were going to open this place. My wife said, you got to eat a lobster roll to know what they're like, but I love it, I love it. For dessert? Well, though not technically on the Scudic, it's hard to resist making the half hour drive to revisit one of our favorite stops ever, Wild Blueberry Land. When Columbus stepped off the boat, there was only four crops, four fruits here in the all North America. Do you know what they were? Guess. There is no one wilder about the wild blueberry than Marie Emerson. Here, inside the world's largest blueberry, you'll find a shrine to this tiny jewel of a fruit, but there's trouble in wild blueberry land. Cultivated blueberries, the larger ones found in most supermarkets, imported from places like China and Peru, are flooding the market and driving prices down, threatening family farms like the one Marie and her husband Dell have here in Columbia Falls. I've even heard somebody call them real. Can you imagine calling them real when ours are real? Marie is asking everyone who comes in her store to take the wild pledge. I pledge to always use the word wild whenever I reference the wild Maine lowbush blueberry. By doing so, I understand. The aim? To educate people that there is a difference. So look for the small wild blueberry. And once they taste them, they'll know. But th there's so much difference. You have to taste the difference. All right, so only four fruits four. when Columbus landed, and they are? Cranberry raspberry, mm. conquered grape, and of course, 
the wild blueberry. And every time Marie hmm. Emerson hears the phrase, uh, American is apple pie, she has to bite oh, her tongue. So perhaps see. her next campaign will be a petition to change that to blueberry pie. American is blueberry pie. I like that too. <laughs> I like them both. Next, ring that bell.